the robber the robber rig show <laughs> So today I've come down to Quest Golf Academy here at Prairie Sports Village in Burnley to have a season review with Rick. So the idea is we're going to have a look at what's kind of gone well this year. In fact it has been a good year so far and you'll see this later on in the video. Also as well seeing where, you know, what I can try and work on, looking at some stats, looking at some trends of where I've been hitting golf shots. Again, you'll see all this in here. I'll tell you what, I'll shut up, let's crack on. Hi folks, right, so as we said at the top of the show, I'm down here at Quest Golf Academy at Prairie Sports Village with my good friend and coach Rick Shields. First time he's actually been on the channel properly, I feel really sorry for him. Uh, the whole idea for today... Uh, first off, I hope I get some new subscribers through this video. You'll get loads of subscribers, you millions. You promised me. Billions of subscribers. Okay. Oh, that's you, the only reason I'm doing it, Rob. No, see, if you like what Rick does, and if you're not already subscribed, why not? Subscribe to Rick Shields. The man is a legend. This is a, a season review, right? Yes. Okay, fill, fill us in. We're going to go through a few little highlighted events for the season mm -hmm. and then go through your Arcos um, bits and bobs to see where we see opportunities of growth and development moving into next season. That's kind of the idea, yeah. I think you've had a good season. I've had, it's been the best season I've had since 08. And what would you put that down to? The point I've put down to with it in terms of how the season's gone is Everything that we've been working on for the last four years now, you've had the mispleasure of having me, um, has all been limited because of my fitness and because of the injuries I've had with the fitness. Okay. So teaming up with my good friend Matt from MLH Physio, um, we've put us into a TPI plug. plug. Uh, we've gone into the uh, and, and, and gone into the TPI working into the biomechanics of me, okay. which has then helped me massively to be able to play golf. So by being able to play more rounds of golf. I've been able to then put in place what you've set for me as instructors and challenges so then I can go out and competitively play okay. and play well, which has proven it this year. So what did you start the season off? Started the season off this season at 13.1. And what are you off right now? 10.7. So 10.7, it's the 21st of October. I'm guessing that's now done. End of season. That's it all done. It's now the off season now. Happy with that progress? I am happy with the progress. As you know, what I... What was your target? Target was... Single, single figures. figures. Single figures was my target. I know where I've blipped. Uh, I had a, a, had a flat line in the summertime. I would say I've noticed a few things, and we'll, like I said, we'll have a look through the stats, but for me, you've just been a little bit more switched on. Like, I always think your biggest challenges and your biggest barriers are actually overcoming all of, even probably even to some degree of what we're doing today, the, the over-analysis of everything. Mm. Um, I would definitely say you physically, you, you're definitely in better shape. Your golf swing's looking as good as we've ever seen it. But you've also just played more and been more switched on. And when, yeah. you've, when you've been playing well, you've played a lot of golf and yeah. capitalised. Where in the past, because of injuries and plaguing of, of that sort, when you've had a good run, you've not always been able to continue that form. Yeah. So I, th I'd, I would put down to a couple of things. And we can look through stats all day until we're blue in the face. But I think you've just been playing better golf, playing more consistent golf, your swing's better, you're in better shape. And you've been capitalising on when you've been playing well. We'll come yeah. back to why in a minute. Uh, that's what I've seen. Yeah. Um, I thought early in the season you had some phenomenal rounds oh, of golf, and, yeah. and you could have easily smashed through the single figure barrier this season without question. Yeah. I really do. Um, but that's where we we reset now at the end of the year and look at opportunities of strength moving into next year. I, mean, I think that's more important than even looking back at what we've already done. Yeah. I mean, what what I'm happy about is that yes, I had a real I had what three or four competitions in a row over a three four week period that tumbled me down from 30.1 down to, I think, 11.9, yep. 11.8, yep. something like that. But then what I like about that is then from that point, I didn't go back up. Not at all. Uh, I managed to, I, I plateaued, but it was a steady plateau. It was a good plateau if you can have such a thing like that. And then I finished the season strong, which I always seem to do. If you've noticed, when we've, when we've played golf in the past, we played at Fleetwood a couple of years ago. Yep. There's the vlog on Rick's channel of us playing at Fleetwood. We played really, really well. Both of us had a great round of golf that day. Thanks, uh, anytime. Um, and but that was last round of the season. That was late September, going into early October. I always seem to come to when I got the the irons, the XR irons. My first round of golf out of there was in the back end of August, and I shot a gross seventy six. Back end of the season, so I play well to start the season, blip in the middle when it's the best weather we can play golf in, and then play better in the latter end of the season. Mm -hmm. So I've started strong, went steady mid season, finished strong. 
Okay. Which, 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 again, I can't complain with that. Um, so, yeah, I think, I think you've played well when you've capitalised. You've had a, a, you know, all right summer, and then you've played well at the back end of the season. Looking at stats and stuff, I think what we've identified is a few key areas. I think yeah. iron play can definitely be improved. Yep. Um, you've, you've had a little weak right shot for the majority mm. of, of the year, which is a, a consistent miss. Yes, yes. You look at stats and 30-odd and percent of shots you hit on the green, 20-plus percent you've missed short right, yep. short slash right. And that's a consistent miss. Yeah. Uh, that I think less than 10% of shots you've mi missed left or long, mm. which is great because mm. at least you know if you're looking at a target, and this a lot of people watching, if you look at a target and you've got a consistent miss, it's way better than having obviously two way misses. Yeah. So that's good. What we need to work on with that consistent miss is a couple of little technical things. You're probably still getting a little bit inside. We're going to have a session saying, look at that. Probably a little bit inside and probably just leaving the face a little bit open. Yeah. That's nothing new. We've done that in the past, but that's been a consistent miss for you over this period of time. Mm. And it's not a dev devastating miss. No. Short and right tends to be okay. Well, short and right, I and mean, we look at that one in terms of the short and right side of things, is that with the driving being slightly out as well, uh, and I've pushed a, a couple of drives on the right side, I'm not surprised I'm finishing up short. If I could be in a, a, a not particularly brilliant position. So... I might not get up there, right? So short and right. So that, I'd say that the greens regulation stats mirror the driving and the fairways hitting regulation stats. Yep. So the two things we can see clearly there where there's a point to work on. Yeah, I don't, think, I don't think you're a bad driver of the golf ball. I'd like to definitely increase distance moving to next year. I think your average dispersion 19 yards. It's not devastating. It's not the end of the world. You play a golf course that's not ridiculously tight, so it's not going to kill you. I think definitely more distance would be key. And then at least then if you're hitting more distance off the tee as you're hitting into irons, you're going to be hitting that same iron as you hit last year, but instead of being short this year, you'll be on the green. Yeah. I think you potentially leave yourself some opportunities where you're probably hitting too many five irons, six irons, seven irons into greens, where if we can add 10, 15 yards onto your driver shots, we can actually hit, start hitting eight irons, nine irons, pitch your wedge into greens. Yeah. And you'll hit more greens. You're better from that range. Statistically, it's shown you're better from that range. Um, and then things like short game, you said you're chipping well. Yeah. You're putting well. Yeah, which we can just continue to smash through the winter. Um, so I think there's, there's a couple of things. First off, awesome season. Congratulations. Yeah. I think you've honestly, I think you've done really well. Uh, I think you've set yourself a, a solid target. Start the year, you've stuck to your guns and you've smashed through it. Like I say you didn't get single figures, but that's so be it. We got as close as we could possibly get. We reset now. We move into next year, aiming to get the single figures again. Yeah. We've seen what's worked well this season. Fitness, yep. a few more consistent sessions we've had. Yep. I've been guilty, I've been a little bit more travelling, but a few more consistent sessions we've had. And, it, and it's helped develop that relationship. I think we need to get on the golf course a little bit more next yeah, year as well. Cool. Um, and actually do some on-course coaching as well, which sometimes has been limited. Um, and, and then look at being able to capitalise on opportunities when you're playing well, play more. Yeah. When you're not playing well, let's, let's sit back and you know don't worry about it. Don't chase something. Everyone no. goes through bad patches. And it's okay to go on holiday, for God's sake. <laughs> I don't blame it on a <laughs> holiday, Rob. Bloody hell, come up with a better excuse than that. It was, it was the holiday. No, not It was the alcohol as well with the holiday. There you go. What, what I found was in the summertime is that, you know, when we got back, I had about three or four really key events that sadly I didn't have the opportunity to play in it. One, because I forgot to book on it, just booked up straight away, things like that. So I had probably four handicap qualifiers there that were medals through, through or, and, and Stableford through the, the summer season where that was opportunities that yeah. could have actually broken me into fine. that. But that's just one of those things, you know. I'm at this point in the season, no, I'm not. The the pipe dream was single figures. The pipe dream still is single yeah. figures. If I'd have got that this year, then I'd have been doing cartwheels around here and Rick could have filmed it all day. Um, but no, probably not. Bad move. Uh, but 10.7, I can't I can't grumble it's with good. that. It's really good. I'm I impressed. really can't grumble with that. So, uh, like I say, a few tweaks, a few off-season things to work on more strength building, more distance with the driver, more accurate with the irons, and I think next year you'll sail through single figures without question um, at Sail Golf Club, coincidentally. Um, are we done? Yes. Are we hitting some balls? Some if balls. you're still watching, well done. Yeah. Sleep. If, you, if you're bothered, if, you, if you're this bothered. <laughs> no, they're really not. <laughs> Cheers, love. And, uh, and if you're new I to like my it. channel, welcome. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to Rob, and we'll see you next time. Thank you. So there you go, Rob. Here's a quick video uh, analysis of what we've worked on today's lesson. I actually think you're swinging it pretty well. There's a couple of loose ends that I'd like to tie up. But majority, you're doing a lot of very good actions. I like the new adjustment in the setup, a little bit taller, gives you that space at address. What we've really worked on today at the halfway location, feeling the hands are going to go more deep or flatter around your body. 
That way then we get into a position at the top that is just a dream for. Left arm is just above the shoulder line, right elbow's tucked in a little bit better. And I just I feel like at that position there now, you just need to turn down on top of it and you will just crush the hell out of it. In comparison to where we started today, let me just bring that video up because you can see a big difference when we contrast it between the two. This was you the very first golf swing today. Notice once you get to that halfway position, your hands start to move upwards in the swing and you get very high in the hands which is great for power in fairness but for accuracy it's not the ideal situation now power we want in driver irons we want accuracy uh, obviously distance as well but i feel like if we tidy things up which is now on this left hand side you'll see a huge difference from that point then being able to turn slightly left on it feeling that you're going to hit the ball ever so slightly left of target is what's made a wonderful difference you're hitting it a fraction from the outside about one degree from the outside but you're hitting these little controllable golf shots nothing's weak right everything's either straight at it a little bit left if worse comes to worse, that last shot that you just hit, you hit a little three or four yard fade, which puts you in no trouble whatsoever. Great work today, Robbo. I think you're swinging it well, mate. Uh, keep it up. Keep practicing hard. I'd love to dive into a bit more uh, driver work next time. Uh, and I'll see you next time, buddy. So, that's the review all done and dusted. Massive thanks to Prairie Sports for letting me come down and fill up the facilities. And also a huge, an even bigger thanks to Rick for allowing me to film in the studio. There's not many people who get a chance to do that. Uh, so I'm really, really blessed that he's allowed me to do it. Lots of things to work on going into the off season, but not all that big. Slight swing change that you've seen in, in the, previously now in this video. I think this next season is going to be good. I've got the off season now to try and work on it. Off to Portugal in a couple of weeks time with uh, Liam from Golf Vlogs UK. And then we've also got then another trip away to Marmanor in February. So fingers crossed, I should be able to build into this and start next season again on the ground running. With the work I'm doing with Matt from LH Physio, I can, think, oh, I can see good things coming on here. So fingers crossed, definitely single figures at the end of the next season. How far down we'll get, I don't know. If I get to nine handicap, I'm going to be happier than a pig in the proverbial. But, you know, we've got to try and see. Again, as always, if you've liked what you've seen, please click the subscribe video and also click on the bell icon. Really, really appreciate your time for coming and, uh, and having a view of this. I'm sorry if it's not been the most interesting video in the world and not many golf shots, but, you know, such is life. Anyway, guys, all the best. We'll see you soon.